before I go to sleep when I remember, but I ask the Lord and I pray, Holy Spirit, give me dreams. Because I read through the scriptures these dreams that are pretty profound how God speaks. I figure you might as well use that time too to glorify God and maybe send me a message. Maybe speak or reveal. So I had this dream last night. It was pretty intense. And a word came forth that the enemy was coming. And to prepare yourself for the enemy. So quickly we grabbed the weapons that were at hand to defend against the enemy. And looking out to this field or this back, you know, I understood that we had to be ready for what we were facing. But at the same time, the neighbors, instead of preparing for the enemy, they were throwing a party. They were setting up like it was a, a, a time of celebration or just distract. They weren't getting the message. And it was coming full force. And then the Lord quickly showed me just move in this direction. And when I came out and started to move in the other direction, the enemy was annihilated. There, there, there was none left. I mean, there were bodies everywhere. In one direction, we can miss God. We begin to head in who he is. We're with God. And when we're with God, the enemy has no authority in our life. We worship what we love. That could be good and that could be bad. And I believe in all my heart, the Lord wants to take us to a new place of what his love is all about. We'll discover that in worship. And I just sense for some of you, there's some hurt, there's some pain, there's some unforgiveness. The enemies come and rob joy in your life. There's a heaviness, there's a burden. And the Lord says, I'm going to heal you and show you my love as you worship. Because we're called to love him above all else. Because he loves us above all else. You can't fathom the depth of love the Lord has for you. His love for us in our mistakes. His love for us in our rebellion his love for us when we're running in the wrong direction. But he wants to bring us into his love in a new way. And we're going to discover that as we learn to love him and worship with him. And then as we love him and discover that love in that worship, here's what happens. The enemy's annihilated. It has no longer an authority. And then we don't get distracted by worshiping the wrong things. And what's happening in the culture right now is we've come to love the wrong things. And we're worshiping the wrong things. And the other things that we're worshiping won't fill that desire of love that we have in our heart. To have that love filled, that true, genuine, authentic love, it'll come by meeting the one who is love. Amen? I just want to pray something. Lord, teach us to worship. Forgive us where we've made idols, where we've worshipped things, God. So foolish. Foolish. We've worshipped stuff that means nothing. But we want to worship like heaven worships. We want to enter to a place we've never gone before that, Lord, we want to see glory over your earth. And we want to come to a place of discovering love unlike we've ever discovered before. Your perfect love. Lord, help us. Help us, Lord, shed those things that are barriers. And I pray right now, Holy Spirit, break every barrier that is there among us and teach us as the church to love so we can love the world. Break every stronghold now, I pray in Jesus' name. Break every lie in Jesus' name. And Lord, lift our hearts and lift our hands and we lift our lives to you and then teach us what it means to worship you, Father, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen.